I'm Gloria Strode and welcome to Straightforward. We have our expert on diabetes here with us today, Dr. Beligo. Welcome. Thank you, Gloria. Good to be back again. I know, and we can never do this enough. Yes. Um, everywhere we go, we're running into people, young and old, even children. Uh, we just find more people with diabetes. And so you're always on the leading edge with the latest technology because you want to improve the quality of life Correct. for those that's living with diabetes. Correct. So who should be using these products? I mean, is everyone eligible? Some things work better for adults than kids. How does this work? Okay, it's not for everybody. Okay, it's so not for everyone. Yeah, typically these are uh, high-end products and uh, they're already life-saving devices. Life-saving devices. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, for example, let's say you are uh, you have type two diabetes, type and two. if you're on some oral medications mm -hmm. uh, without any injectable therapy like insulin, then you may not need these things okay. unless you can afford it and you can buy on your own. Okay. So typically, we use it for people who have uh, either type one diabetes or type two diabetes and who are on multiple doses of insulin every day. So if they have type one or type two and there are multiple doses. Correct. Daily. Daily. So this is how this will help those individuals. Correct. Okay. See what happens is uh, when uh, people are on three, four different insulin shots a day, there is always a likelihood that their blood sugar can dip, okay. and they can get into serious trouble. Okay. Because having low blood sugar is not fun. People feel really bad. Really. And uh, let's say if you are driving, uh -huh. and if your blood sugar drops, then you can get into serious accident. Okay. It's not good for you, it's not good for other people on the street. Okay. So, so it's dangerous when the blood sugar goes too low. Correct. And so for those that have these multiple shots a day, right. this can happen. D yes. So okay. this is all like a, getting like a life insurance policy. Okay. So make sure that everything is fine. In diabetes management, it's all about uh, safety, okay. right? Because this is a killer disease. People it do is not a understand. Yes, people yes. do not understand mm -hmm. because it doesn't hurt. That's why we do not give enough importance to diabetes. But having diabetes, uncontrolled diabetes, is almost just like having a, a cancer. Really? Because in both instances, your life expectancy comes down. Really? For example, if you have type two diabetes or type one diabetes, uncontrolled, okay. on an average, your life expectancy comes down by about seven years. So if you have uncontrolled diabetes, type one or type two, True. your lifespan Com is shortened by at least seven, seven years. Seven years compared to other really? people who do not have diabetes. Wow. And to make matters worse, if you have diabetes and if you have a heart attack, uh -huh. then your lifespan comes down by about 14 to 15 years. Really? So the complications from the diabetes, the diabetes kind of impact other parts Correct. It ravages your body. So you really? have what is called as microvascular complications uh -huh. where you can uh, lose your eyesight. Yeah, of I've retinopathy. heard of people when they would say sugar, sugar in the, the eyes. Right. The that's just a, so that's the diabetes. Yeah, that's a street term. You yeah. can go blind. Yes. Then you can have a damage to your kidneys, what you call as nephropathy. So you go on dialysis. Okay. Right? So that's the uncontrolled diabetes. It's all un that's so then you're going to end up with the kidney disease. So you're on dialysis. You can u lose your vision. Vision. Then you can then lose your feet. Ah, so you amputated. develop neuropathy and uh, all really? things. That's why those are called microvascular complications. They Micro can be man microvascular. Vascular Micro means a small blood vessel problems. Okay. But the challenges that we have for our diabetes patients is how to reduce what we call as a macrovascular diseases. Okay. Macrovascular uh, complication means heart attack and stroke. Okay, macro. Macro, big vessels. The big vessels. Okay, which supplies the brain. Okay, so then we're looking the heart. at a heart attack or a stroke. Stroke. And the micro, we're looking at the retinopathy, where you the, lose the eyes eyesight. or the limbs and the kidneys and the kidneys. So. Okay. So that's why in diabetes prevention is always the key. Yes. And uh, if you have diabetes, you don't have to lose heart because mm -hmm. we know, and we have so many different drugs and modalities of treatment, and we can bring you almost back to normal so that you can live live a long life just like your other counterparts. Almost back to normal, Almost but you have to have the right diagnosis Correct. and the right treatment plan, and there's no one size fits all. No. Each all person is different. Yeah, yeah. That's why mm -hmm. we call it uh, individualized therapy nowadays. Okay. So, you know, the therapy for you is different than therapy for me, mm -hmm. because our lifestyles are so different, our physiology is so different. Mm -hmm. So once you have a diagnosed diabetes, one of the best things uh, 
we do for you is give you a glucometer so that you can check your sugar. Okay, a glucometer. Glucometer. Okay. Yes. So the, everybody uses it. Right? So in the old days, you used to prick your you finger. You do a finger pick, right. and uh, there is a strip mm -hmm. that goes into a meter like this. Right. And uh, within a few seconds, you see your blood sugar. Right. But the problem with that approach is you have to test at least three to four times a day. Really? If you're on multiple insulin So doses. if you're working or in school three or four times a day might be a difficult thing difficult to do. Difficult thing. You have to take a break. Right. Right. Uh -huh. Then uh, do the finger stick. And sometimes you don't want to tell your coworkers that you have diabetes. Right. right. That's you a private thing for some people. Correct. Yes. So that's, that was the problem. And uh, I always have problem in convincing my patients to do enough finger sticks. Uh -huh. Because I need to see the numbers. For example, in the morning when you wake up. Your fasting sugar, see, in a normal person who does not have diabetes, mm -hmm. fasting sugar should be less than 100. That's okay. normal. Once you become diabetic, it keeps on going up. And okay. once I start treating you, I want your fasting sugar between 80 to 120. That's when you wake up. When you wake eating. up. So yes. first thing in the morning, normal is 100. 100 and less. Right. But those that you treat that have diabetes, you want them to be between 80 and 120. Yes. Okay. Because initially when they come to me, their morning sugars are like 200, 300. Really? 400. Yes. They're so bad. Wow. So because it goes undetected for a long period of time. So you can go into a diabetic coma too, can't coma, you? Coma, yes. Right. There are, yeah, there are two kinds of coma. One is uh, sugar going too high what we call is diabetic ketoacidosis. That's because of too much uh, too sugar. Too much sugar. And you build a poison in the blood called uh, ketones. Okay. That's why you go into coma. It's so a very dangerous we, condition. So we don't need too high and we don't need too low. Correct. The other end is a, what we call a hypoglycemia. Mm -hmm. And in late terms, uh, they call it uh, insulin shock. Insulin shock. shock. That means the blood sugar goes so low, they lose consciousness. Really? The biggest danger is people who are uh, very active, running around, mm -hmm. uh, sportsmen and um, moms taking their children to school, mm -hmm. and if they develop severe hypoglycemia, and if the, usually body tries to warn you, okay? okay? You feel there are like some shaky. warning signs. Warning signs. Yeah. You feel shaky, trembly, sweaty, mm -hmm. you feel confused, and you will have severe hunger contraction. Mm -hmm. Now, body is telling you, your sugar is low, do something about it. Okay. And if you ignore that, then uh, next thing you know is you lose consciousness. Right. And that and can turn out to be something really very bad. Very dangerous. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, um, the question is, how do we help our patients to recognize hypoglycemia? Mm -hmm. Because some people get so many hypoglycemic episodes, mm -hmm. and the body sort of uh, thinks that it, it is gets, normal. It's just not paying it any attention anymore. And it won't give you a warning sign. Okay. So you could have a blood sugar of like 40, right. and you'll be driving on the interstate. And that's dangerous. That's dangerous. What we're going to do is take our first break, go to our sponsors, and we'll be right back. Okay. All right. Okay. We'll be right back after word from some of our sponsors. Straight Forward is brought to you by Chalk by Quincy introduces excellence redefined, timepieces of the finest technology, luxury, and class with tons of style at chalklifestyle.com. Renal Associates, LLC, a team of physicians dedicated to excellent kidney care with five convenient locations to serve you. Stark Avenue, Columbus, Bradley Park, Columbus, Lafayette Parkway, LaGrange, East Burkhalter Avenue, Buena Vista, and Spring Street in Warm Springs. The Framing Factory and Art Gallery, specializing in quality art and framing for all your needs. Original etchings, limited editions, and prints. Call Carlton Dickey today at 706-324-3823 or visit the Art Gallery at 1325 17th Street in Columbus. Walmart's reason for supporting Thurgood Marshall College Fund is simple. We like to win. And we have been given a lot of exposure to some, to some incredible talent. And we also believe that it's a part of our responsibility to the community to give back. This is a great opportunity to do both. It's been a wonderful experience for us through the years. We've appreciated our partnership. We believe in return on investment, and we have definitely had a remarkable return. Come meet your new best friend at Paws Humane. Adopting from your shelter makes sense. You get a great friend checked by our vet. They're fixed, all shots, microchipped, all ready to make you and your family's life better. 4900 Milton Road, Columbus. Paul's Humane. Come meet your new best friend at Paul's Humane. And welcome back to 
to Straight Forward. I'm continuing my conversation with our diabetes expert, Dr. Beliga from East Alabama Endocrinology. Your team is awesome. You believe in making sure you know everything, uh, the latest techniques, um, trying to educate the community, trying to help us to be better to right. help you to take care of us. Sure. So we have all of these various companies that's offering all of this technology. So how does all of this work? Okay, so um, you're absolutely right because my philosophy is just because we are in a smaller uh, areas, smaller towns and villages, we should not be denied uh, the advantage of the latest technology. Exactly. Right? So I'm always on the lookout for what if there's something new uh -huh. that can help my patients to live longer uh -huh. and manage diabetes better. Now, as I said, one of the challenges is getting our uh, patients to do the finger stick. Right. And sometimes they don't want to do it. Right. Sometimes they do it when they come to my office, they do not bring the meter. <laughs> and I get mad at them. I know, because then you can't read yes. their report card, so I, I, to speak. Yes, right. exactly. I'm uh -huh. a good doctor, but uh -huh. if I don't see what your sugar is doing, I cannot help you. Exactly. So now to overcome that barrier, fortunately, we have this, what is called as continuous glucose sensors. Continuous For example, glucose sensors. sensors All yes. right. So the first one to come into the market was called iPro. The I Medtronics thought. brought that. Mm -hmm. But that was sort of like a blind uh, 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 machine. So you put it in, you insert it, and it senses your blood sugar and uh, beams it into another device, which has to be downloaded to look what the sugars are doing throughout the day and night. Okay. Then came Dexcom. Okay, this is, uh, this is what now? It's called Dexcom. D Dexcom. D -E -X -C -O -M, Dexcom. Okay. So this is the sensor that uh, you can attach it to the skin here or in the tummy. Okay. Now what it does is it keeps on reading your blood sugar every five minutes. Really? And it stores in a uh, small computer. Now you usually it comes with a small device, uh -huh. like a handheld device. Let's say you are sitting for uh, lunch or dinner or uh -huh. you're in a meeting and all you have to do is uh, look at uh, the meter like that and it all will right. show you Cause the that, blood sugar. That is reading it. That's reading it. it. And right. it's beaming into the handheld device. Right. So we don't have to pick and no, put it on no, the thing. You don't okay. have to. You may have to check it twice a day just to calibrate mm -hmm. because this needs a reassurance that it's doing a good job. Right. So it will ask for a couple of readings a day. Okay. To so tally. that's better for people that's in the workplace. Got it. Anybody, you know. Okay. People with uh, several insulin shots a day, okay. brittle diabetes, um, patients with a lot of hypoglycemic episode. Okay. This is a godsend because not only it gives it to, the, it, you can see it in the handheld device, you can watch it on your iPhone or an Android phone. Really? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so it's compatible to the iPhone and the Correct. Android. Correct. Okay. And also, it gives you a pattern. As the blood sugar goes up, you see a line going up. Mm -hmm. When the blood sugar drops, it shows a line going down. And it gives you current glucose value, let's say 127. Wow. Every five minutes, it keeps on so changing. So just from your phone? Correct. Right. So we need that phone other than just taking pictures and sending text messages and, and tweets. It can really be used to help improve our life. Exactly. That's wonderful. Okay, I that's didn't know that. That's the technology for you. Yes. Okay. But, but the real advantage, mm -hmm. or um, it's like icing on the cake. Yes. Let's say you have a, a young child with a diabetes. Right. And uh, in the old days, moms, they never slept because they are worried about the kid going into a hypoglycemic coma. Yes, yes. So in the middle of the night, they will go and wake them up. To make sure they were still the okay, pricking right. the finger, right. Okay. Guess what now? What the they can do? The child wears this one. Yes. And mom can watch the blood sugar in her iPhone or her Android phone. And she can be at work and the child she can, can be, be at any, school. She can be anywhere in the uh, um, United States. Really? So, so it goes to the cloud, then it comes to the cell phones. Okay. So and so that gives people. parents some freedom. Freedom, To yes. know that their child will be okay, those that have uh, the Correct. juvenile diabetes. Correct. Right. So. And uh, also, in the old days, we used to have earlier versions of Dexcom. Mm -hmm. It will give you all the patterns and everything, but the FDA did not allow us to use that reading to calculate insulin dose. Okay. Because when you give insulin, you need to know what is your current blood sugar. Exactly. So we always had to ask our patients to do a finger stick separately than this one. Okay. But the latest one called G5, it's so accurate. Mm -hmm. The FDA says you can use that number to calculate insulin dose. G5. So it, it's, it's called G5. So that's this like we're changing these cell phones from whatever to Correct. whatever. We're the, doing the same thing with this is the latest these one. devices Correct. for treatment Every, of diabetes. 
because uh, there's a quantum jump in technology. Uh -huh. Every year or so, we uh -huh. get better and better versions of it. Right. So that's why I'm very happy for my patients, because if you really look at uh, our old uh, days of treating diabetes, uh -huh. it was almost like a bullock uh, cart age. Yes. Now we are at the age of Tesla. All right. Almost, almost automatic, <laughs> right? So we went from the car, the car to, the, to the Tesla. Yeah, okay, so. and that really makes it easier. Correct. And it, it, it's less stress when people have an active lifestyle. Correct. Right. So this makes their life, quality of life improves, and uh -huh. you, you get much safer. Uh -huh. You have less chance of going into hypoglycemia. Guess what? When the blood sugar drops, this gives you a warning. So if it'll, it'll sleep, it will alert you, it will alert even you. if you're sleeping. Even uh, it will alert you. And really? if you don't. If you don't wake up, then you're in a little bit of trouble. But oh. at least your friends, family members can watch you. Really? They also get the alert. Really? Correct. Wow. So that, that's the advantage. And this is for who? The people um, who have multiple doses? People who are on insulin, type okay. 1 diabetics, and type 2 is on insulin. Okay. With the f um, uncontrolled diabetes. And guess what? Pregnant women with uh, gestational Sinal diabetes, diabetes yeah. who need uh, insulin, mm -hmm. okay, for them, the criteria are different. In pregnant women, we want very tight control. Okay. In the morning, they should be between 70 to 90. Really? One to two hours out, not more oh, than one because they are pregnant. Correct. Okay, Otherwise, so baby will become big, baby will have all the pr problems. Right. So that's why we need a tight control. That's why those women, mm -hmm. they can do better with the Dexcom. Okay. Instead of testing six to eight times a day. Right. Now they can test only twice a day and rely upon this. All right. And so you're able to monitor mom and the baby. Correct. And this is the, the, the method that keeps them safe. Correct. The safest method. Exactly. Okay. So then the next thing to come into the market is called Libre. Uh -huh. Okay. This is the latest one. Just got approved by the FDA. Now this is not really equivalent to Dexcom. They are like slightly different. Both of them are continuous glucose sensor. Uh -huh. With the Libre, the advantage is, it's again a small uh, device. You uh -huh. put it on the skin, it's like a round, uh, like a coin. Right. Uh, very tiny, a little Almost bit. Almost like a Band-Aid or something? It, it, yes. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this is the handled device, uh -huh. which shows you the graph and everything. Okay. A and, uh, and uh, um, uh, uh, sorry, so it, this one doesn't show the graph. But okay. Let's say you want to, you're eating, f eating your uh, lunch or mm -hmm. dinner. So all you do is uh, do like that. You're and just going to wave it over your it's shoulder. It. It's and it's going to read it. It'll read Really? It. Yes. So that's almost like one of those radar detectors. <laughs> and to put it in layman's terms. Correct. So and you don't have to go under your shirt or anything. Just wave it. Just wave it. It gives you current blood sugar. Really? Okay. And what and is the name of this one again? It's called Libre. Libre. Like natural Libre. Okay. Libre. Okay. okay. So um, this is for people who do not want to test four to six times a day. Okay, so it's convenience and it's state of the art. State of the art. This okay. Way, and you can use this reading to dose insulin. Okay. So that's the advantage. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take our final break and then we'll come right back. Okay. okay. We'll be right back after word from some of our sponsors. <laughs> Ford is brought to you by Warrior Outreach. Contact Command Sergeant Major Retired Sam Rhodes or Kathy Rhodes. Freedom Printing for all of your designer printing needs. Gunboat Plaza, Suite 18. The Hugel Foundation, enriching the community through Christian music support, community outreach, and the Georgia Through Photography Project. For more information, call B at 706-568-6431. Progressive Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1952. The George Ford legacy of high standards continues today in the compassionate and professional services provided. A touch of dignity for those who care. Progressive Funeral Home, 4235 St. Mary's Road, trusted by generations. Best Care, transforming minds and bodies, leading the way in the latest techniques of medical weight loss and wellness. Certified in family medicine and bariatrics, Dr. Blunt is ready to assist in the transformation of your mind and body. Call today, 706-221-6477 or visit bestcarecolumbus.com. East Alabama Endocrinology, educating and caring for those living with diabetes in Alabama and Georgia. 1400 Bradley Lake Boulevard, 3320 Skyway Drive, Suite 602, Opelika. Take charge of diabetes and live your best life. 
Vanessa Jackson's District 3 Successful Scholars Program, supporting students in achieving academic excellence, outstanding citizenship, positive social and cultural growth, believing in success for kids. History is important because it shows where you're coming from and where you're going. Type 2 diabetes is something that runs in my family, which means I'm at risk. In fact, one in three American adults are at risk for developing type 2 diabetes. And knowing this, if I do nothing, that family history becomes my family's future. And my family is too important to me for that. Take the risk factor assessment today at AskGreenNo.com. <laughs> And welcome back to Straightforward. I'm continuing my conversation with our awesome diabetes expert, Dr. Baliga from East Alabama Endocrinology. Well, we got all of this latest technology. It is intended to make the lives better for those that are in with type 1 or type 2, those that might have to take multiple doses. Uh, if women are pregnant and mm -hmm. they have diabetes, you got something that serves them better. So we just got a lot of good things going on here, but this is right here is like the top shelf. So right. share with our audience what this is. Yes, so we talked about the continuous glucose sensors, okay? Uh -huh. Now what do we do with the data, right? Now we have the data. We have the data. We know what exactly is wrong with our patient. Yes. Now the thing is how to deliver insulin in a much better fashion, mm -hmm. almost like your own pancreas. Right. So it was a work in progress. So for example, let's say you are a type 2 diabetic uh -huh. or type 1 diabetic, okay? So there's something called Vigo. We use mostly in type 2. This is sort of like a pump, like a patch pump. Okay. You put it in and uh, it has a small button on the side. Uh -huh. Let's say you are eating your lunch and uh, you are in a group. Right. You don't want to take out your insulin and right. there's a chart. It looks odd, right? It, it really does. Okay, this one, this will be inside your cloth right. and you just press the button. And it gives you insulin? Yes. Okay. So, so I can have it actually under here, here or under on my thigh. shirt or on my thigh, thigh. and or I can just, on the all you have to through the cloth, you keep on clicking it. With the, each click, you get two units of insulin. Really? So let's see. And let's it's say, that small and it has that's insulin that's, there. There's insulin inside. So you have oh, to okay. change it uh, every uh, so many hours, like once okay. a day. Uh, once all a right. Day or something. And so no one would see it. You nobody, can nobody, keep nobody, confidentiality. Yes, okay, that's awesome. Okay, that's one kind of patch pump. Now, mm -hmm. this is a little bit more advanced uh, patch pump. It's mm -hmm. called Omnipod. 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 Okay. So basically, you know, you see that device. So there is the insulin inside. Again, it sticks to your uh, arm. Okay. And it don't come out. All right. Okay. You have to use some special uh, um, detergents to take it out. It's so so good. Oh, uh, okay. So, so it, it's a good uh, good uh, adhesive. It is a okay, very, very good, good adhesive because okay. in the initially they used to fall off. Yeah. But that's why they improved the whole um, adhesive uh, okay. uh, um, action, so now they are much better. Okay. Uh, again, it has a handheld device where uh -huh. you can give, you know, the pod is here, and you just click uh, on your hand, All and right. it will give you insulin. Okay. So that's called uh, Omnipod. All right. So nowadays they use this pod for uh, other uh, users also, for uh -huh. example, cancer patients. Have you seen the ad on New Laska? Right, yes. So this is the kind of pod the, the, they the use. The day you don't go that. back to the center for that. Okay. Yeah. So, you're well informed. Yes, I'm, I have to you know, be. I, I know that you're... Right, in order to <laughs> hang out with people like you, I yes, have to pay yes. attention, yes. Okay. So, this is uh, another uh, advanced pump called T-Slim, okay? Mm -hmm. So, again, there's the insulin inside, but this has a tubing. So, the tubing goes inside the skin. Okay. And uh, this is like a small computer. Right, so it, gives it looks a small like a cell phone. Correct. Right. It gives a small amount of insulin throughout the day and night. Mm -hmm. And come meal time, all we have to do is uh, put in how much carbs that you eat. Mm -hmm. And the pump will calculate how much insulin you need. And, uh, and it'll you, just you just say yes, it goes in. Really? Okay, so easy. Wow. And you can put it in the water, so nothing happens. Right, it's so if, you, if you're on a swim or scuba you dive, scuba dive, then you can use that. It's very good. And it's a touch screen. This is the first, uh, world's first touch screen pump. Okay, the first touch screen pump. pump. All yeah. right. Okay. Now, the problem is you have a pumps, good pumps like this. Uh -huh. You have the sensors like that. Uh -huh. Now, we want to make sure that they talk to each other. Exactly. See, so that they can control your sugar on their own. Exactly. Just like uh, driving your Tesla car. Okay, right. Or the Tesla drive. is just going to do its thing. Th that's, okay. that's where uh, this thing came into the market. It's a 670G. 670G. 670G Metronix. It's called uh, 
closed loop a hybrid pump. This is the first in first of its kind. Okay, so Ar this is the artificial pancreas. The, we can, That's what we it's call loosely it. Loosely called the artificial okay, pancreas. Okay, we call it loosely, but that it does what your pancreas is not doing. Correct. So okay. the only reason we do not call it uh, artificial pancreas because mm -hmm. it does not have uh, glucagon in it. Okay. It just controls it with your uh, insulin. Okay. For example, see this is the. Uh, device where yes. there's insulin inside and the tubing goes underneath the skin mm -hmm. and uh, you have this uh, sensor okay the eye pro sensor okay so they continuously talk to each other so this is telling this and then it knows correct. what to give you what not to give you correct so default blood, uh, there's the something called auto mode mm -hmm. just like tesla you put it on the auto mode it goes <laughs> on its own so you can you're put in that tesla correct. i think you've been talking to my husband yes. that's his yes. dream car yes correct. so, uh -huh. so the default is 120 milligrams per deciliter. Okay. So the pump and the sensor, they keep on talking to each other. And if the blood sugar drops, mm -hmm. actually this sensor is so smart and mm -hmm. it has almost like artificial intelligence. Right. It can predict your blood sugar is going to be so low in the next one hour. Really? So even before your blood sugar drops or goes high, the sensor knows it and it uh, transmits the information to the pump. So the pump will make adjustment to the delivery. Right. So if so you need more insulin, you. more insulin. If you want less wow. insulin. Wow. Okay. And, uh, well, that's why we are so proud that we have you in this area. And again, like you said, just because we're in a small uh, yeah. part of you know the country, we still want the best in terms of health care for our people. Yes. You have Islet with us today. Yes, right. She teaches uh, all of our patients yes. about diabetes. And so she'll entertain us too. And, yes, and so right. we're just she's, happy she's, that she's, she's on she's the a blessing. team. She's she a blessing. Is. She's on she the is. team now. She so is. She's still but undergoing some kind of uh, <laughs> upgrading for the time being. So. Okay. But so uh, tell everyone where you're located okay. uh, because your wife is a family medicine doctor okay. and then you are the endocrinologist and you have two locations. So I want to make sure we get that in before Correct. we run out yeah, of time. Yeah, we have an office in uh, Opelika, uh -huh. 3320 Skyway Drive, Suite 602. Then one in Columbus, 1400 Bradley Lake Boulevard. And that's at the Brookstone Brookstone. Center. Okay. By the way, I want to tell you one information. Uh -huh. We were the first one to use this pump in whole of Alabama. Right. Nobody, nobody else No one. It. You blaze that trail. We are first in the Columbus area. Right. We, we, not many centers have this uh, uh, right. expertise. We and are, that's we because you're always trying to make yes, sure that you're, you're the best, your team, and making sure that we can offer our citizens in Alabama and Georgia the best possible care in diabetes. So I just want to thank you so much. We'll have to continue to do this because we have to get the word out. Correct. Okay? I really appreciate you know, because you do a lot of community work and I was so impressed by that uh, church uh, program that we had last weekend. Right. And I could see your enthusiasm. Oh, see, we yeah. need more people like you yeah. to bring together the community yeah. and give them education. And we, and we want yes. to educate people because we want them to have a better quality of life. Correct. If everyone has a good quality of life, then we're all better. Yes, well, thank you so much. I appreciate thank you. you. Good. All right. Glad to be here. Thank, thank you. you. This has been Straightforward. If you don't stand for something, you won't fall for anything. Until next time, be blessed.